Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your messages from Spirit Reading from now to the end of May 2020 for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you're well Taurus and I hope you're staying safe. So what do we have for Taurus please, Angel Spirits Guides? Message for Taurus now to the end of May 2020. beautiful we have ancestral wisdom we are your ancestors and we love you we walked the earth many years before you we ask you at this poignant time to learn and grow from our past experiences you are our legacy and we will keep on helping you as we continue to evolve here in the spirit world isn't that beautiful okay let's see what else we have for Taurus Angel Spirits Guide. Now to the end of May 2020. What is the message for Taurus? Okay, I have two cards. Have faith. Forgive and forget. And you know, forgiveness is really for you. It's a release mechanism. It's how we let go. It's how we move on. Because if you don't, if you hold that, and I understand there can be some very difficult things to forgive, but forgiveness is a way of you releasing and moving forward. Okay, what do we have for Taurus, please? Message for Taurus, now to the end of May 2020 new directions between worlds you're in a transition period or some of you might feel you're in a transition period and I feel there is a you'll find a new direction or soon will you know see this person they're just held by the energy it's almost like they're being held by angel spirits guides here they're just being held in mid-air almost um, and I just feel you're being told to have faith you're being held now you're being given that guidance to, and how to move forward but you need to release what's gone, however you manage to do that. It's not always easy, is it? <laughs> okay. Angels, what is the message for Taurus, please? Now to the end of May 2020. What do we have for Taurus? Yeah, remember who you are. Archangel Michael, you are a powerful, loving and creative child of God. You are very loved. It is whatever God means to you, but I certainly feel you are being held now, Taurus. So reconnect to who you are. You know, the half faith is very much Hierophant energy as well, and the Hierophant in Tarot rules you, um, or is you, I should say. So I'm feeling that reconnection to self as well. Hey, what do we have for Taurus, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Taurus. Now to the end of May 2020. What is the message from Spirit, Angels Guides? So Taurus, I pull three cards. First card is the issue or challenge you face, but you need help from Spirit on. The second card, too many. The second card is the advice from spirit. And the third card is the outcome. Should you take the advice? Okay. There's too many, too many, too many, too many. Thank you. <laughs> Nine of cups, nice. I'm going to shuffle a bit longer. So... Advice from Spirit, please. For Taurus, thank you. Three of Cups. Okay. We've got the Two of Cups, King of Swords, and the Sun. Okay, Taurus, I'm going to pull clarifying cards to clarify the cards on the table. I'm using the ghost tarot deck, <laughs> given that we are doing spirit message readings. So let's see what we get for you. 
Can we clarify the cards on the table for Taurus, please? Now to the end of May 2020, Angel Spirits Guides. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Taurus, please? Thank you. Oh my goodness. We have the star. This is beautiful. Oh, okay. We have the devil. And let's clarify King of Swords, the Sun, and the Two of Cups. There could be an Aquarius in your life, Taurus. They have a stronger Aquarius presence. We also have Capricorn. Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. And we have the Eight of Pentacles here. Taurus is interesting. We have the Star card here and we also have the Nine of Cups. Now this is the Divine Wish Fulfillment card. This is the wish fulfillment card by you making your hopes dreams and wishes coming true by switching on remember that red hat is really important and um, it is about switching on applying yourself doing the hard work to bring in the success that surrounds this person this person gets their heart des heart's desire by the effort they put into something and the the star card can be the divine wish fulfillment card too this is about going for your hopes dreams and wishes here I feel there's been an ending. I do. Uh, I feel there's been an ending and it could have been in a... I certainly feel you're being told. I'm looking at this here really, Taurus, and I'm just getting the messages that, you know, I'm focusing on this right now. The Ten of Wands can be about carrying burdens. Um, but it's a Ten. And a ten is a completion in tarot. And the ten of wands sometimes signifies that you've been carrying burdens for quite some time. And the me there's a message here, if this is a ten, if this is an ending or a completion card, why are you carrying the burdens now? Because certainly with the ace of pentacles, it is time for the new. It is time to embrace the new. We've had this message before for you, I feel, a few times now. For some of you, it's almost kind of like the message is, is repeating itself a little bit. Because I'm going to... It is time to focus on new hopes, new dreams, new wishes. This is about dare to dream. Because the universe is giving you blessings. I mean, it's a beautiful card. And now is the time to really apply yourself on what looking at what is going to make you happy, Taurus. You know, this is somebody who really switches on to what is going to real, really fulfill them on every level. Love, home, relationships, career, I mean, you name it. This is somebody who finds joy in everything uh, because they are getting to the place where they want to get to by really switching on and putting in the effort to achieve every single one of these cups that are behind them lined up on a trophy shelf, on a silk lined trophy shelf. So there's an element, you see the proudness he has achieved and come so far. And I feel this is a message of there's new growth for you now, Taurus. Uh, you know, the water pours onto the earth to fertilize the land. There is new growth with the star. There is new hope. And it is about having new hope and focusing on what is gonna make you happy now because it is within your grasp. And this is about finding new hopes, dare to dream. Because for some of you, when you do, you can bring greater happiness into your life. Now, this is focusing on what makes you happy. Interesting. Because the next card is... The message from Spirit is the winter is over, spring is here. So there is a closure. 
to what's gone before and that's what spirit is telling you and I feel for some of you the devil can represent I mean the devil is a card of, of big instability it can be about codependent relationships addictive relationships that are difficult to break free of um, there's a sense of liberation with the star as well that I'm getting to um, and it could be liberation from this it can be from your own inner demons it can also be in terms of unhealthy relationships that could be in terms of love friendships family could be in terms of the workplace as well but with the message of the winter is over the spring is here allow yourself to find closure with whatever this represents because that's what I'm feeling quite strongly obviously the cards have a number of meanings but I really do feel that quite strongly because it is time to make space for the new and I've had this message for you before Taurus some of you are working through a situation and the Nine of Cups is saying it's, it's very simple in order to move forward you need to release what's gone release what's gone Ten of Wands you need to reconnect to yourself the star your true identity reconnection to self your own light now in order to move into a new direction the Ace of Pentacles something solid, secure, stable something that if you put the effort in, practical effort into this it is promising you to grow for you you are being given it to you've been given it by the hand of God the Divine, the Universe this is a blessing but it's also, it could be a new opportunity, a new direction that may present itself um, you know, just because we're all going through this collective isolation if you like it doesn't mean the opportunity isn't there we're just being asked to live in a different way right now and this is new opportunity coming to you Taurus this could be in terms of money and career this could be you putting actions into bringing a new beginning in your life opening up you know focusing on what is going to bring you new growth in life could be in terms of your money and career could also be in terms of what you value what is going to bring you happiness now and fulfillment because this is beginnings of making that happen and I feel Taurus you know the King of Swords is very much about seeing the bigger picture now this is a card of an Aquarius there could be a new relationship with an Aquarius for some of you on the cards because I've also Aquarius here right next to your Nine of Cups <laughs> so for some of you you know I feel there could be new growth within Aquarius but you have to close one door in, open, in order to open the other I certainly feel that for some of you and the King of Swords is absolutely getting perspective seeing the way forward and I do feel there is a liberation from whatever this devil energy is certainly with the King of Swords and the Capricorn energy of the devil here um, liberate yourself from ties, old ties, old patterns, old thought patterns, old processes um, liberation, liberate yourself from your mind as well your, it could be where you're, you still have old mental attachments to what's gone on before and this is a, a really powerful card in terms of how to move forward um, because that sword comes down and cuts ties with what's gone there's a real nice liberating energy with the King of Swords too because we have the Sun putting something behind you you see the wall this child and the horse come through the wall it's about letting go it is about being restored in your own light remember who you are you're being guided forward this is divine guidance pure divine guidance with the Sun the sun is shining on you Taurus um, and this is your this could be your ancestors guides guiding you forward as well and it could be to new love could be to new opportunity whatever this ace of pentacles is offering you now but it is bringing greater value into your life and it is something more solid and secure the beginnings of that but you have to make space for the new because when the sun appears there is new growth 
this is very good in terms of money and career it's also very good in terms of budding relationships and I certainly feel for some of you that there is an opportunity here for something to really grow something far more solid and secure in your life could be in your money and career could be in terms of love as well for some of you like I said it could be an Aquarius features heavily in your life um, but this is good news celebration joy happiness that is this to some extent I mean this is about celebration joy happiness but I do feel Taurus you have to make space for the new it is hard work no one doubts it's hard work when I touch that card forgive and forget I did feel my goodness that's going to be hard work <laughs> so some of you are saying you know it is hard to forgive and forget it is hard to let go of what's gone and to move forward but you're being asked to with the cards on the table now by angel spirits guides there is a new direction available for you have faith look forward release the old because this is somebody who really focuses and works hard to bring positive growth to their life it's very good in terms of money and career restabilizing their life in terms of money and career by really put, putting in the hard work and effort but it can also be about working hard to heal from what's gone as well it's the sun in Virgo you know the hermit the healer and um, getting back on track in your own energy to be ready to be open to receive a new opportunity this can be an offer or an invitation could be in love could be something that brings you joy and it's linked to this the ace of pentacles there's a golden opportunity around you but you need to make space for the new I keep on hearing it Taurus <laughs> um, yeah Queen of Wands now's the time to take action and be in your power remember who you are she is somebody who is in her power but she trusts her instincts because she understands that she is guided she makes instinctive choices instinctive decisions she takes action instinctively to bring greater growth into her life and success this is a card of Aries this is about taking the initiative as well and I certainly feel for some of you now is the time now is the time to take action towards a new path and put whatever this was behind you ten of wands because look there is something so much better ahead and everything is beginning to become clear I feel for some of you I'm gonna pull a message from heaven to finish off the reading Taurus um, it's a beautiful message We care about you, we want you to take care of yourself. Time to put you first. Time to stabilize where you've gone through some instability here. And focus on what is gonna bring you greater value in your life because it's being gifted to you by God, the universe, the divine. And now is the time to take practical steps towards it. Beautiful reading, Taurus. Beautiful reading. And I'm going to say this again. Focus on what makes you happy now. Because that's where you find the whole direction. That's where you find answers. That's what will guide you forward. Hmm. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you, Taurus. And I will see you next time. Thank you.